What's going on everyone? This is ODC, it's me, and I'm back with another action figure review. This is my review of the DC Comics Multiverse by Mattel. This is Batman Zero Year Batman. I don't know why it says Batman Zero Year Batman, but that's probably the title Batman, and they did Zero Year, and now it's, this is Batman. Anyway, I, I did this review of the DC Collectibles version a while ago, probably about over a year ago. Maybe, maybe, maybe longer than that. But when I saw this was going to be released again by Mattel, I really liked the look. I, I understand what they were trying to go for in the uh, new 52. I'm not a big fan of the build a figure, to be honest with you, the Justice Buster. But here's the other figures in the wave. If you're interested in building Justice Buster, um, in the other wave, I believe it's the Grapnel Gun. So if you're interested in that, it's also available in that, but uh, I've already reviewed Superman. I still don't know if I want this Joker. It's just pretty much a re-release of the old suited bodies with a new head. That's pretty much it. Um, uh, but this Batman was a new, all new sculpt, all new mold. So I could appreciate that. I have zero plan on getting any of these. Uh, if I do find the Build-A-Figure pieces for him, maybe for the right price i'll put them together but i don't really have that much of a desire to get the rest of it so with that being said let me uh pause this and we'll take batman out and we'll be right back that's what she said okay and we're back with uh greg capullo i should say his artwork um which is uh, i'm gonna do don't worry i'm gonna do the comparison don't worry it's coming but this is uh greg capullo um, did uh, Zero Year Batman and uh, <coughs> excuse me I don't think this is the worst um, I don't know I think the head is a little bit too big just a hair too big um, the crotch piece is way too big yeah it's definitely too big the crotch um, he does come with one accessory which is his grapnel gun which uh, is, looks kind of flat. I would have liked it if they bulked it up a little bit. He only has uh, one open hand, so obviously it's going to have to fit into this hand. Um, and this is kind of the problem. Look, See, look, right here you can see as I'm trying to get it into his hand and kind of twist it, the hand is so stiff that, and this the, the plastic on this gun is so thin that you almost have to just kind of slide it in. <laughs> yep slide it in but it does fit in his hand pretty well actually very well I should say I actually do like I, I you know what I do like this figure I think he looks good he's definitely accurate to what he looked like in the comics um, I did like the zero year run to be honest with you I didn't like too many new 52 stories but I like the Zero Year run. I thought they did a really good job on it. Uh, where is Zero Year Batman? I'm going to pause this, and I'll be right back. We'll do a quick comparison. Okay, okay and we're back. And uh, here is the Greg Capullo DC Collectibles figure. And this is the serious problem that I have with the Capullo. This Capullo figure is absolutely perfect. Almost perfect, I should say. No figure is perfect, but almost perfect. The problem with this Capullo figure is that... My ankles on, on this guy are just, they, they can't hold up all this body weight. And I love the sculpt of the cape and everything, but he's in such a strange stance. I can't get his legs in any further than this to kind of balance him properly. So, I mean, when you have him in, he just wants to tilt down. He doesn't want to, it's, it's way too much weight on these little ankles. Um, that's the problem. And um, I think that this is a better balanced action figure right here. I mean, he's definitely got stiffer joints than the, the DC Collectibles. Obviously, the sculpt on the DC Collectibles is much better. Let's ask, let's have a new segment. Well, uh, we'll do Ask the Wife, mm -hmm. honey, mm -hmm. because he's got bad ankles, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and this guy has good ankles. Which one overall do you like better? You like the Mattel one better? Yeah. Really? Okay. 
I think both. I, I think if if the Mattel one had the DC collectibles head, I might say that, that it's better. <laughs> but you know, when in doubt, listen to the listen to wife. She knows all. Um I definitely you can definitely tell the difference in the, the guns here. Let me just get these out. This is uh I should just do not confuse everyone. The silver one, all silver one is from Mattel and this is from DC Collectibles. Obviously you can see that DC Collectibles did a better job with the sculpt and the overall paint applications uh on the the gun. So um there's DC Collectibles. Also comes with a nice rubbery style holster so that doesn't fall out. It sticks right in. Um, not saying that Mattel did a bad job with theirs, but I would have liked a little bit more paint on there. Um, their holster is also pretty well done as well. Um, I do like it. Um, he does come with the Build-A-Figure Justice Buster leg piece. I believe this is the left leg, I think. Let me just confirm that. Uh, right leg, excuse me, sorry. Uh, left leg came with uh, uh, Superman. Earth 23 Superman. But uh, I just want to do this uh, comparison. Wifey likes Mattel. I think if I had better ankles, I would say DC Collectibles, just because the sculpt is much better. It, it, this just feels like a better figure. Um, probably doesn't have clear peg joints. I can't tell. And let's see, let's check the arm. I, don't, I can't see anything, but um, if I had better ankles, I would say this is the much better figure. But uh, this isn't that far behind. Obviously, the like I said, sculpt and paint is going to be all about the, the original DC collectibles. But this Patel one is, is pretty decent. Uh, like I said, this, this crotch piece has got to go. It, it's just entirely too big. I don't know what they were thinking there. But I really like the sculpt of the boots. I think they did a good job there with the sculpt of the boots. Um, <clears throat> I don't even mind the low thigh cuts. Um, I don't mind that so much. Um, he does have T-joint hips. He does have better articulation than the DC collectibles. But that should be, you know, standard. I mean, we should... Mattel should always have better articulation. He doesn't have a better range of motion in the head, though. Let's just... You know what? Let's just do a comparison between the two. Um, we'll just do head articulation. If I can get this asshole to stand. Now this one doesn't want to stand. What the hell? Okay. There we go. This head moves up way up. This head, not so much, as you can tell. His head looks down, and this head doesn't really want to look down either. They both swivel. Come on. Come on, swivel. They both do swivel at a full 360 rotation. Um, this head does this nice tilt, where the Mattel head doesn't really do much of anything. The arms go up about that far. Arms pretty much almost the same range of motion. Maybe Mattel's got a little bit more as far as going up. Full 360 rotation on both. And then he's got a bicep swivel and a single bend at the elbow. And he does have a wrist rotation there. It is there. Where Mattel's does have the same bicep swivel, a single bend at the elbow, a wrist rotation. But he also has a wrist hinge, which is very rare for Mattel. They usually do rotations, but no hinge. Um, he does have the ab crunch, and so does Mattel, or so does TC Collectibles, as I'm confusing everyone. Uh... So Mattel and DC Collectibles both have a decent range of motion there. Uh, waist swivel as well. He does have a waist swivel too. Um, he's got the T-jointed hips which go nicely out. And they do go forward. And this is a nice plastic material so it will, it will, uh, it is pliable, it will move with the leg. And it does move back. Uh, where DC Collectibles, the leg does go, go forward, go forward, go forward. And it does go back a little bit, but it doesn't really go out. So no wide, no T-jointed hips there. Uh, he does have the upper thigh swivel, where this has like an, a lower thigh swivel. Uh, single bend at the knee. Double jointed knees on the collectibles one. Um, he does not have a boot swivel. He does have the ankle swivel. I wish he would have came with an ankle pivot instead of this swivel. And an ankle hinge there. Um, this guy doesn't have an ankle pivot either. He's got an ankle hinge 
and I don't think he has boot articulation either. And so he's got no swivel. He only has a swivel at the thigh, so that's pretty much it. Um, so articulation-wise, I would say, or range of motion, I would say, the DC Collectibles one has him beat as well. Hmm. I guess it comes down to personal preference, really. You know, I mean, obviously the face sculpt on the DC Collectibles is going to be much more accurate to Capullo's artwork. Um, I think the ears are a little bit better on the Capullo one as well from DC Collectibles. But, uh, I mean, like it's like I said, it, it's pretty much pick your poison. There's some good things to the Mattel one. There's some good things to the DC Collectibles one. I mean, if you buy both, then you have the best of both worlds. You have, you know... <laughs> And hopefully, hopefully, you don't have the looseness in the ankles like I do. And he's got this stupid wide stance. I can't stand it. Drives me nuts. Stop it. I really got to fix these ankles. I got to get some either super glue or some floor polish to fix those ankles. He just wants to fall. There he goes. Bye. Uh, but this is still a solid figure. It's not the worst. Um, like I said, the flaws are the paint. There's some uh, some definite... Uh, paint flaws over on the shoulder here. It's kind of bleeding through um, Over here on the uh, the the calf here uh, I'd say the cape is pretty similar to it's got the split in the back like DC collectibles it has the split in the back um, Not too bad But just you know not quite there where where you need it to be um this guy would have really benefited from a ankle pivot too. I, Mattel needs to get on the ankle pivot. It's 2016 for Christ's sake. Give us an ankle pivot. Same with you, DC Collectibles. Ankle pivots all the time. Not some of the time. All the time. But um, I don't know. I you know I I do like while I do like the figure and I think he's standing wise he stands like a champ. He does has no issues. Um, don't have any issues with that and he's a lighter figure this is a much heavier figure you can tell the difference between hollowed plastic and the thick plastic that they used for the collectibles uh, so honestly you know this is still a nice display piece it's is it worth 20 bucks i don't know maybe wait maybe wait for it to drop in price maybe around 17 dollars i would pay for it maybe even 18 20 bucks uh, to, you know, around 21 after tax and everything, and it only comes with one accessory and a build-a-figure piece or collect and connect piece. Excuse me. Um, I don't know if it's worth the $20 price point, but still a solid figure. I'll say that. Um, and like I said, pick your poison. If hopefully this one will stay, I'll just have to hold him up. <laughs> His ankles are awful. Um, but. Uh, I mean, pick your poison. They're both solid figures. I still think I like the DC Collectibles one, even though it, it, the asshole won't stand. i got to fix these ankles. Um, I guess if you have to choose between the two, Wifey went with Mattel. I'm going with DC Collectibles. So, with that being said, let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the flip side.